Hi all, welcome back to a new post today. And uh, let me start with a very simple proverb. It says that the words are sharper than the swords and we need to use it very carefully. And one person who is reaping the harvest of his harsh words against Prime Minister Narendra Modi is none other than our own MP, ex-MP uh, Rahul Gandhi. So he has lost the MP status of Lok Sabha from the Vayanad constituency. And let's have a quick review about the issues surrounding this. So the main focus is about the disqualification in this issue, the Lily Thomas case and some important points about disqualification and how he had got immediately disqualified from his MP status of Lok Sabha. So recently Rahul Gandhi lost his member of parla uh, membership of parliament uh, from the Wayanad constituency and uh, let me tell you that the MPs are disqualified under articles of the constitution and also certain laws made by the parliament that is the representation of people act 1951. So the articles of the constitution are article 102, clause 1 and 2 and article 191 which deals with the disqualification of members of legislative assembly. Article 102 deals with disqualification of members of parliament that is both Rajya Sabha and Lok Sabha. And there is a representation of People Act 1951 which also deals with disqualification. Now the Wayanad MP Rahul Gandhi lost his Lok Sabha seat after being convicted for criminal defamation by a Surat court. So during a 2019 um, election rally, he spoke something against Prime Minister Narendra Modi linking the surname Modi to criminal background. And for this he has been uh, taken to task for criminal defamation and now the Surat court has pronounced a verdict Convict him, uh, convicting him of criminal defamation for the words that he has spoken and he has been given a sentence of two years. So the Surat court however suspended his sentence for about 13 days so it has given him a 13 days window. He is on bail and he is not in prison right now and gave him the time of 30 days to appeal before the Gujarat High Court against the Surat court verdict. So now the process is in appeal uh, for appealing before the Gujarat High Court. Now let's go to article 102. So article 102 says that a person will be disqualified for being chosen of being either a member of house of the parliament that's either the Lok Sabha or the Rajya Sabha if he holds office of profit number one. Two, if he is of unsound mind and is declared so by a competent court that's number two. Number three if he is an undischarged insolvent. Number four if he is not a citizen of India and has voluntarily acquired the citizenship of a foreign state. And number five if he is disqualified under any law made by the parliament and this law is the representation of people act 1951. So what is article 102 clause 1 and the section 8 of the RP Act under which Rahul Gandhi has been disqualified? Now, as I told you, article 102 deals with the grounds of disqualification. 102 clause 2 deals with uh, defection, that is the anti-defection law. So, article 102 clause 1 deals with disqualification on the above grounds. And there is a sub clause E which says that if he is disqualified under any law of the parliament. And as I told you that this law is the Representation of People Act 1950. Now, under the Representation of People Act, you have Section 8, which deals with disqualifications of the lawmakers, that is the MPs in the Parliament. So, it says that the uh, this uh, this uh, uh, the clause 8.3 says that a person convicted of any offence and sentenced for to imprisonment for not less than two years, that is either two years or more than two years, he should be sentenced, will be disqualified from the date of such conviction and shall be continued to be disqualified for the per further period of six years. So the person who gets convicted and he gets a uh, punishment of two years will be disqualified immediately from the membership of the parliament that is or the state legislative assembly and also he will be disqualified for further six years from contesting for an election. So total eight years of uh, disqualification from the membership of either house of parliament or the state legislative assembly. Now immediately after uh, Rahul Gandhi was convicted by the Surat court on March 23rd, 2023, that's day before, uh, the Lok Sabha Secretariat issued a notification saying that Rahul Gandhi stands disqualified from the membership of the Lok Sabha from the date of conviction that is 23rd March 2023 and this it has done under section 8 of the Representation of People Act 1951. Thus, the conviction, the disqualification of Rahul Gandhi is triggered by the conviction that the Supreme, uh, that the Surat Court gave, and it's not the Lok Sabha notification. 
So Rahul Gandhi now stands to lose his, lose his MP status at the, because he was convicted of criminal defamation offence. And uh, similar thing had happened with one MLA of Samajwadi Party. His name is Azam Khan. And so he was all he lost his uh, MLA membership from the Uttar Pradesh Legislative Assembly. And a secretariat issued a similar notification saying that he is disqualified for being the member of Legislative Assembly of Uttar Pradesh from the day he got convicted. So, what does Rahul Gandhi now lose if he loses the Lok Sabha membership or if he loses being a MP? Now, as a Lok Sabha MP, Rahul Gandhi was entitled to a house in Lutians, that is Delhi. So, following his disqualification, he will be uh, he will have just one month to vacate his house in Delhi. And apart from being allocated a house or a residence, as an MP of the parliament, he gets numerous perks. So, all that will be lost now. And he also lo loses the Wayanad constituency. So, the election commission will come up with notification for the by-election for the Wayanad constituency as because of the disqualification of Rahul Gandhi, that constituency becomes vacant in the Lok Sabha. So is the disqualification final? Let's look into this. No. The verdict was given by, by a lower court of the Surat court and Rahul Gandhi has a chance to apply an appeal for an appeal in the Gujarat High Court. That's a higher court than the Surat lower court against the decision of the Surat court. And if the High Court turns down the conviction, then Rahul Gandhi's MP status will be restored and also the Wayanad by-elections will be cancelled or stalled. If he does not get the relief from the High Court and he will be disqualified for contesting elections for eight years, that is he will have to go to prison for two years and after that six years he cannot contest for elections, that is straightforwardly given under the Representation of People Act 1951. So the disqualification of Rahul Gandhi has been immediate. That's because of the Representation of People Act Section 8, Clause 4. So uh, 8, Clause uh, uh, 3. Now, it has been immediate due to a recent change made by the Supreme Court in 2013. So what had exactly happened in 2013? Now, there was a relief in the form of Section 8.4 in the Representation of People Act, which said that if a person is convicted, then he has three months' time to appeal without losing his membership. Now, this clause was struck down by the Supreme Court in a case called as the Lily Thomas versus Union of India case in 2030. And this was done to deal with criminalization of politics because during that three months period, they used their influence to get the conviction stalled. So, uh, Article 8, six, Section 6, 8, Clause 4, previously, which now stands struck down, gave three months of time to an MP or an MLA to appeal against the conviction in any case, which means that they do not uh, lose their MP or MLA status immediately after they are convicted. Now, after this uh, section was struck down in the Lily Thomas case of 2013, uh, now it became immediate, the losing of the membership of either parliament or the Lok Sabha became immediate in the aftermath of 2030. On the other hand, the Supreme Court also gave a relief in the form of appeal. So there was another case uh, in 2018 which is called as a Lok Prahari versus the Election Commission of India case in 2013 which said that disqualification which operates as a consequence of conviction which is mentioned in the Representation of People Act Section Clause 3, couldn't take or remain in effect once the conviction is stayed. So the Lok Prahari case actually gave a relief to an MLA on losing his MP or MLA status, which said that if the conviction is stayed by a higher court, then he does not, he or she does not lose the MP status or an MLA status and this relief was given in 2018. So therefore, if Gan Rahul Gandhi is uh, convicted now by the Surat court and after his appeal in the Gujarat I court, if his conviction is turned down, it's struck down, then he can be restored of his MP ship from the Wayanad constituency and the Wayanad constituency will not go to by elections. But if the Gujarat High Court upholds or upholds the Supreme Surat court verdict of his conviction of uh, criminal defamation and uh, stays on the, uh, the sentence of two years, then Rahul Gandhi will not be able to contest elections for next eight years. That is two years he will have to spend in the prison and after that he will lose his uh, this, uh, chance of contesting elections for six years. So the most important thing that you need to focus is criminalization of politics which was struck down uh, by Lily Thomas case 
in 2013 the supreme court struck down section 4 this is the most most important thing that you need to remember you need to remember the lok prahari case with the versus election commission of india in 2018 where a person is given a chance maybe is an innocent and so he has a chance of uh, saving is uh, is membership of the parliament or the Lok Sabha and the most important thing is how disqualification can happen for an MP or an MLA. I hope this information was really helpful to you all and if you did please do like, share, subscribe and don't forget to comment and I shall see you in my next post. Until then, happy learning.